Shalom, brothers and sisters. So Britain's got a new RAF fighter jet armed with hypersonic weapons that they're unveiling, right? So it's not ready for production or anything. They're unveiling the project. The UK is central to the project to design some of the world's most advanced fighter jets as part of an international treaty with Italy and Japan. The new Tempest jet is armed with hypersonic missiles and Star Wars style energy directed weapons. It has a larger wingspan and is kitted out to help pilots evade enemy radar, providing 10,000 times more data than all the current systems that are available at the moment on the market. That's insane. Experts say that the Tempest models will revolutionize air-to-air -air combat, giving Britain a world-beating edge in warfare. But here's the concern. They could be axed in Labour's defense review coming up right now. It left open the possibility that the planes could be vulnerable should the review decide that committing cash to a project that will only deliver new aircraft in the mid-2030s is not the best way to deter a more immediate threat of war with Russia. So, and then on top of that, Saudi Arabia, Mohammed bin Salman, and his cronies, they are very interested and they are contenders as well for this jet project. But it's interesting that Labour might axe the program because why spend money on something that's only going to be realized in 2030? Who's going to need it in 2030 when God's wrapping things up by that stage? When you have a definite threat of war with Russia any day now, any week now, right now. Now, so I agree with Labour. You should be thinking about how to shore up defences right now and prepare for what everybody with a half a brain cell can see coming at speed to all nations right now. Wars and rumours of wars. Can you really wait till the end for another seven years before your jets are delivered? Is there going to be anything left of the earth in seven years after all the shooting, nuclear bombs, detonations and other things goes down? So, yeah, they're 100% on point. As awesome as this would be to put them at the front of the market. Interesting, 2030s again mentioned. Mohammed bin Salman's Saudi Arabia mentioned. And then Russia as an imminent war threat right now that is actually derailing projects that have a longer lifespan. Longer being a minimal lifespan of like six, seven years. Everything, if you look at it, like just a normal article like this on a new fighter jet, which shouldn't even be interesting to prophetic perspective circles, actually is. Because all of it is now wrapped up in the end of the age. Shalom.